morning guys welcome to today's messy hair video come on kitty we did not see the cat all day yesterday he's on the verge of going to his forever home outdoor cats make me nervous like they scare the heck out of me i hear you come on I think he's on the loft. Come for food. Yay. When he didn't show up yesterday and it was pouring rain the whole day, I was like, oh, good gosh. It's easier oh, good because gosh. all the pets, the animal ties so he can hunt them. So we brought bananas down to <laughs> share. I bought a bunch of bananas. Oh, Aw, Aw, Ruby. <laughs> Good boy. Uh oh, what is on you? You got. Wow, I do not know where you've been, boy, but you changed. Oh, I'm glad you're home. Is, what is on you? Dirt? Or, um, I don't know what that was. All right, wait, did you give him his, did you give him his banana already? He's not eating it. All right, Finny boy, fat boy, you do not need. <laughs> he He's like, I want my grain. Where's my grain? Yeah. Eat it. Something you can eat. <laughs> you know who loves banana? He does not love that. Give him his grain. Put it in his, in his grain. Yeah, you know who will love a banana? Let's see. You gotta share half. Yeah, we only had brought pieces. Back up. Thank you. No, they all want their they grain. Want their She's like, <laughs> She's licking it. Look at those ears. Okay, pass me your grain. Oh. Whatever, I'm putting this inside the grain. I did that with Storm and he didn't even okay, eat it. Okay, let's try the bait, the ponies. I know Gracie will love it. Oh, Gracie, you'll be looking cute. Willow, you'll be looking cute. You like a banana? Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. They just stand there. Gracie doesn't even move. It's like she's in a trance. It's like me on the couch eating potato chips watching a movie. Don't even move. I just stare straight ahead and shovel them, shovel them in. <laughs> uh oh. She, they want their grain. Yeah, feed her a piece and let's see. Wait, she's like, I see the grain. Wait, they want, wait, wait. Wait, that's mean, huh? Yes. Just wait, okay, have a banana it. first. Here's up some banana. Right, okay. okay. You can make a normal person would. Okay, hold on. Good girl. <laughs> She's like, just give me my green. Come here, Gracie girl. Holy poop piles. Eat it. Good uh, morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is another rainy day. It's supposed to stop in 15 minutes and then oh my gosh Now that is a bucket of water. Holy cow. Oh, it was like that yesterday. <laughs> wow <laughs> That's amazing. I won't have to fill it up for a couple of days. Anyways, um, uh, welcome to today. The rain is gonna stop today. The girls and I have decided that now that like I always have the worst trouble getting up in the fall. In the fall and the winter when it's dark in the morning, I'm like, yeah, I just want to sleep in. And it's hard for me to get going in the morning. So we decided in the fall and winter, we're going to do our hair after chores, right? And we're not even going to do our chores first thing in the morning. We're going to wait and do chores oh, after. Yeah. Ruby wants to see waiting right there. I know, Ruby, you missed him. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do for the whole electricity problem. Sam will have to cover the plug outside because you can do that and make it not a, 
electricity issue. If you guys saw in yesterday's video, Gabby got electrocuted. So basically this cord. Well, it's because, um, it's because he just wraps duct tape around it. Then you have to unwrap the duct tape a little bit. And then you can plug it in and wrap up the duct tape. That's what he did at our old house and it worked. Okay, so this cord controls the electricity. So I'm going to go plug in the cord outside with no electricity, and then Gabby's going to plug it in here to juice up our fence. Make sure you turn off the light and close the door when you come, okay? No, so, Mia has to give her horse a train so she can stay too. Yeah, you stay. I want to watch you get shocked. I'm not going to get shocked. There's no electricity. No, you watch out the window and tell Gabby. You, get you watch out the window and tell. Plug no. Yeah, take those out. <laughs> throw them in the garbage. Um, listen. Watch out the window and tell Gabby when she can plug it in, and then I'll meet you guys at the house. My face is a little frozen. It was 10 degrees in the barn, but actually I'm cold. Um, somebody said that we are going to have snow in the forecast this week. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. Um, anyway, the reason that I keep videoing the field at, up to the barn most mornings or a lot of mornings is because one day this winter when I have nothing better to do, I want to take all of the clips from last winter through the spring and then the summer and then the fall and back to winter and make like a montage of life on the farm through all the different uh, seasons. I think it'll be amazing and I'm really excited to do that. I actually want to do it now but we're not quite ready yet. Last night, last night I made the executive decision to wash our fly masks before I pack them away and this tough one, one turned out so good and this tough one one turned out really well. I'm like looking for rips and stuff. There's like a little bit of hay stuck to it, but a little shake. And that should be good. And this is Willow's? Yeah. This must be a tough one too. It's not. It's not? It looks the same. I don't think so. This is Willow's. I think Willow will get a new one next year. I love the face one. And yeah, they all turned out so good. This is this is um, the what brand is this one? No clue. Starting with an L, I think. This is it's from Europe. It's from England, I think. It's um, I forget the brand of this one, but I like it too. It turned out really good. They all turned out perfect. I didn't put them in the dryer, obviously, but I love how they came out, and I'm gonna do that. Now I can put them away for the winter and be ready. Literally love putting things away for the winter and then bringing them out in the spring and being like, yeah, I have everything I need. I hate it when I have to make a tax door run when I'm not prepared. Um, anyway, we're getting on with the homeschool part of our day. And I just saw this video. So some of you guys might not know that um, Nick's girlfriend, my son's girlfriend, they have a little baby Jack. Jack's mom. If you guys know Jack, you know Jack's mom. She has a channel. She has a channel. It's called Jessie Marie. And um, she's always vlogging when she's around us and stuff. But I never really pay that much attention. Like I'm never really like, she's quiet about it. So I don't really see. Anyways, she... She put her horses and Thanksgiving video up. It only has 35 views, but literally it was so much fun. If like it was exactly what I was aiming for to show you guys what it was going to be like our first Thanksgiving on a farm. And I kind of like, I don't know, hers had less talking, but it showed so much more. Like it showed all of my family or half of my family, like my kids coming down to the barn and seeing all the horses and all of us like walking around. It was total chaos, but you could see it all. But the funniest part for me was that 
you could hear me in all of my adult kids. Like, it was me from, it was us when we didn't know very much about horses. It was totally us. Like, it, it was just funny. And then at one point, one of my kids threw the ball into the field thinking the horses were going to chase it like a dog, like Ruby. And, um... They and it didn't, and but it kind of spooked them a little. And then my daughter-in-law Kathleen said, "Yeah, and now everybody's dead <laughs> or something like that." And it's like so me, like all of them is every like I never saw so much of me in my kids until I saw her video. But it is really good. You guys should watch it. Um, her channel is called Jessie Marie, and she's a blonde lady, and she's um, Jack's mom. And it was such a good uh, video. I loved it so much. I really think you guys will enjoy it. Um, behind the scenes of the day by day vlogging, I got a, a dog here. I got a dog here. I got Sophie doing chores over there. I got a dog here. I got a dog here licking her feet or her tail. What are you looking? Feet. Feet. Oh, you are yeah. never alone in this house, that is for sure. So, we got four letters this week in the mailbox, and we all picked one to open and <laughs> no, read. No, no, I picked this one, but then I took that one. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we got one from a boy. Yeah. Sophie got a letter from a 10 year old Megan, and it incu included these gorgeous pictures of all of our horses Gracie and Finn and Storm. Is there a Stella picture? No. Oh no! It's a halter. This, this paper smells like mints. Like mints? That's super cool. Very strong. Is that the one from the boy? Have it. It's okay to send. It's okay that a boy sent us a letter. It's just funny. I like to tease Gabby about boys because she never sees boys. Like this is from I feel Poppy. like I feel like if it like our world, our life is just not set up that there's any boys in it. And I feel like if we ever saw boys, Gabby would collapse. This letter is from Owen, and he's 12 years old. He's a horse lover just like us. I love that. Um, Cookie, Toby, Ruby, Macy. T.L. Halter. Oh, I love that. That's from the 10 year old girl, Megan. Mm -hmm. Um, that was from the 10 year old girl, Megan. Uh, oh, look at Storm. Oh, I love that. Who's that letter from? Sophie and Gabby. Holly. Ooh, surprises. Oh, look, Mom. That's from who? Polly? Holly. Holly. Stella. Cute. So, Sophie's, uh, Gabby's reading a letter from Holly. How old is Holly? 13. So 13. See? That's how I know she read the letter. Willow. See, that's how I know she read the letter. I ask her questions. No, I just. But if you're Sophie mom. and I ask you questions to make sure you're actually reading the novel that you're supposed to be reading at bedtime reading, at nighttime reading, you could fake it really good. <laughs> Here, eat glitter. Twelve-year-old Owen says that he is a horse lover just like us. Um, he loves to see where horse life takes a day-by-day family. He says that he's learned stuff from us, which is just crazy to me. Um, through all the ups and downs, he continues to watch and support us. Ruby. He says a lot of really nice things about all of them, about all of us. Uh, I love that. Thank you, Owen, for such a gorgeous typewritten letter. That's my favorite. Then he sent us a little picture of our logo. I love that. Thank you so, so, so much. I also got a letter from Lisa. Wow. Lisa says something really interesting. She says that at first she hated Fiona because oh, at first she didn't like Fiona the way she taught. She taught us to do things differently than she had learned. And she said that um, the big one was to ride with a loose rein for beginners. And she said she'd always been taught to ride with a uh, um, connection, all the constant connection. And she said, but if she had been taught at first, when she was first learning to ride with a loose rain then she would never have to have endured all of the people saying to her ease off his mouth all the time oh this girl is so kind she absolutely adores sophia help, help, help. she says you have a capacity for love patience and kindness that knows no bounds that's amazing thank you for your letter she also um she also wrote us a story typed us out a story that she wrote and i'm really excited to read that too both of them are really long, so I'm going to finish the story, and then we're going to head down and check on our horses. I know I need to give the boys more water, and we're going to do afternoon chores. I'm really loving the chore situation after school because 
typically when the girls finish school they just do what they want but now when they're done school we still have time together so i just finished reading this letter from lisa and i just have to say she's a 65 year old woman and she wrote little messages for all of us i laughed my head off at so much of this you are so sarcastic and witty and say the funniest things you would totally fit our family so much i loved your letter thank you so much she said she spilled coffee on it but she didn't want to write it because she already rewrote it a couple of times and yeah i'm so glad you just sent it exactly like it was that's amazing thank you so much for your letter i don't want to stay here no ain't gonna keep it low now if you want to go let's go let's wrap it up and hit the road i just got an awesome vibe Striking the wind of hopes now Liberty's on my mind We've taken off, we've left the ground You You gotta understand That we get one chance, one chance You You will never regret The things that we'll do Cause I nighttime chores and uh, we were super nice and we did all the water we put it like usually I fill up all the water but I don't carry it to the stalls because yeah it's hard and we did that today and I put all this the hay like I got everything done for nighttime chores all he has to do is leave the horses in leave the horses in and throw empty Stella's hay and give it to her but yeah it's winter isn't it winter yeah it's not winter it's fall but isn't it cold three days till my birthday three days you guys what are we doing on your birthday um, before my birthday, I'm, we're going to go shopping. That means you can't play with your toys. We're going to do a little um, birthday shopping spree on Sophia's birthday. and Or no, we're going to do it on Saturday. Her birthday's on Sunday. A lot of you guys have birthdays on Sundays. That is on Sunday as well. And that is so super the cool. The best part is my dad can be there. Yeah. When, then, when's, when's yeah, my birthday? Yeah, you're so thoughtful, Sophie. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.